Hi gardening friends, it's Tea Time Tuesday and I'm going to give you a tour of my perennial bed. Gorgeous, 75 degrees here in my Wisconsin Zone 5 garden. I'm Lark. Hi, welcome to my garden. I think this one might be quicker today. Less is blooming, at least new blooming. A lot is still a lot of color in the garden. The great blue lobelia is going to be blooming probably for about a month here. The blue, great blue lobelia. Fever few, that fever few is drying up and I'm spreading the seed. Gloriosa daisies. This is a hibiscus. Later bloom into autumn more. This is the corner that gets a lot of shade. So the flax is just starting. Oh, there's the sun. And the lilies. Some of the deer ate them. Those are some in substance. Now behind here you'll see transplants and that is red bee balm, Jacob Klein. And I put a wave of it following the hostas. Behind the hostas the red bee balm. Now I also threw in some of that great blue lobelia so after the red blooms of the Jacob's Klein bee balm, then the lobelia will bloom. Can you see? So it'll be blue under here. The transplants took pretty good, but we've been cool and also rain. So as I follow those hostas, more blue lobelia. In the back, to add some color next year, I have the branch cone flower. I've transplanted some plants, but I'm also going to be throwing some seed back there because it reseeds freely. Mosquitoes are biting me, so if you see a little jerkin, that's me swatting the mosquitoes. So, great blue lobelia and bee balm, red bee balm for next year. And of course, the Gloriosa daisies. So I'm putting things back here that will reseed freely around those uh, some in substance hostas. The feverfew is a great reseeder also. So I'm trying to get less work and more ground coverage. Let's go look over here where We'll be, we look out the office window here, so you'll see the blue lobelia, and I got it all back behind the sum and substance, quite a bit of it, and I'm going to let it reseed, and then the hydrangea, Annabelle, there's three of them, so my idea is to hide this wood pile. And then the red daylilies will be blooming the same time that the red bee balm will be over there. So the red will jump a little. Keep the eye moving. Does that make sense to you guys? I'm trying to get more color and less work and keep the garden blooming for a longer period of time. Oh, 
Oh, these mosquitoes. Nasty. Still daylilies blooming. That's probably the last one on that one. The grasses. That's little zebra. Now there's something new starting to bloom. Joe pie. Gateway. Ooh, the butterflies love that. See the crick down there? I think we'll just do the flower garden today. No veggies. Veggies are doing nicely. Tomatoes are getting blight. Oh well. See what I mean about the blue lobelia? There's going to be a lot of it. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I move? Mosquitoes on my knuckle. Cone flowers, balloon flower. Still some good bloomers. Today I was transplanting some bee balm. I was, yeah, red bee balm. I was pulling out some that was growing in some of the red barberries down farther. And I pulled it out, put it in a bucket of water because I got a good root system. And then I planted it back by that little arch and under it. So next year I'll have more red back there. You have to bear it with me with these mosquitoes. They are horrible. Doesn't that white balloon flower look good? I don't have it caged, so it's kind of sprawling, but I like the airy look to it. That white really brightens up those colors. Amaranth came up from last year. And usually it's tall, but I've been uh, cutting it down and just letting it stay chubbier, shorter and chubbier. Grasses. I have mosquito netting on. <laughs> poncho mosquito netting but my hands are out of here where the camera is. I'm holding the camera. Some more joe pie back there. Soon, that'll be the star. Oh, I'm so sorry. Some of the grasses look so pretty backlit either in the morning or in the evening. That happens to be Carl Forrester. And then there's a 
daylily that's tucked in back there. Now it is kind of short for the back of the garden, but right now the sun is just hitting it perfectly. So I guess it depends on what side of the garden you're on. Pulled red bee balm out of this area. Just too much of it, too up close. We're going to let that bee balm there, you see, right there. That bee balm can go back farther, but I don't want it forward anymore. So, in this kind of chaos of a garden, I do have some order. But when you get a lot of plants and they're spreading quickly, you can be cruel at pulling out and cutting back and letting things spread. Can you believe how these hydrangeas have grown from last fall? That's what amending the soil does. Remember I told you I dug in all my green waste around each one of these for last fall and this spring so they have some good soil mixed in with my sandy soil. That yarrow is coronation gold. That's a good one. That's a very good one. Large heads in a keeps blooming and blooming. That's a new one blooming this week. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of it right now. Oh, blackberry lily. That's what we call it. Japanese maple looks pretty backlit. The golds light up the shade area. Oh yes, there's the Lance Corporal that is aggressive but so pretty in the shade. I'll be sure to show it to you when it gets its flower on it. Smoke bush. Or if you let it grow taller, smoke tree. I keep mine a bush. It's about Seven foot high right now, but I 
cut it down every fall to about three feet. Can you see? Oh yes, Lark has powdery mildew back in the shade here on the phlox. Looks like a silver leaf, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not. Powdery mildew. Now that the phlox is done blooming almost, this turtle head will add some color in the shade. Lady's mantle is setting some new growth in the center. Meadow rue, such a delicate flower. We'll walk this way. have a little bee bomb still blooming down here. It takes quite a bit of shade. If you have extra bee bomb, try putting it in the shade. Oh, I see the goldenrod starting. Seems early for the goldenrod to be blooming. Such pretty form it has. It's a couple of different kinds. There's this one, and then there's one that's more upright. You see that right there? It'll be blooming a little later. Oh, these mosquitoes would love to have me without this netting. As it is, my hands are probably going to be bit up. The fairy garden. Sorry to be putting you into the sun. <sighs> Many of you have come back over and over again through the years, and I do like a lot of flowers down by my veggie garden in the bog area too. It really attracts a lot of pollinators. The jewel weed is starting to bloom. This tiny orange flower right there. Can you see that? Oh, my camera's in the way here. Right there. Jewel weed. The hummers like that, the hummingbirds, a lot.
veggie garden. We won't go in there. I'm getting some beans off of it. It's getting some kind of rust on the leaf, but I am getting beans. Blueberries did pretty darn good for its second year. Okay. Jewelweed. Good herb. Crushed up for um, if you could poison ivy or poison sumac. I bet if you listen closely, you'll hear all the mosquitoes around me. Trumpet vine is still blooming. It's what keeps the hummingbirds around yet because I haven't been feeding them. I haven't been feeding the birds either uh, because I want them to eat the bugs in the garden. And it's been doing a good job this year. Very little caterpillar damage or worm damage or insect damage. So I do put a little food out on our tray feeder outside the window when my granddaughters come over so they can uh, see the birds up close. Now, I don't know if many of you have seen the Baptisia seed pod. This is it, it turns black, looks like a pea, and then the seeds are in there. Or they fell out, either one already. I just dropped them, but that's that's the seed pod on a Baptisia. Mine is a pretty blue flower in spring. Okay, so I think we'll call it a day. And I hope you enjoyed this tour. You saw a few things. The blackberry lily was one. Joe pie was another. Bane. Every video, it's still blooming, guys. So that's my garden and the color for this week. And I say it should be going for about, oh, let's see, how long? Probably another month, if I'm lucky, because things are blooming faster and earlier this year because of the rain. So thanks for stopping by and visiting. Take care and happy harvesting with your veggies. Bye-bye.